Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you have been here before, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. Also welcome to the subscriber pick for the month of June, which is... Tuesdays with Mori by Mitch Album. If you don't know what subscriber picks are, every month I ask you guys to choose a book for me to read and review for you. And I do a reading vlog come a book review for you all after finishing the said book. This has been on my TBR for such a long time and uh, I did what I usually do. I made you people choose this book and I was actually so happy to see it because it has been on my TBR for ages and I needed some push, some motivation. So I put it on the list and you people chose this book and here I am. I am going to start reading it today. Today is the 9th of June and I will be starting to read this although i do have some other current reads also but uh, i'm going to start reading this one uh, why i'm really annoyed today is that there has been mm, no peace i wanted to film a couple of videos but uh, that was not to be because it's still going i think you can hear it but never mind this is a book about I think this is non-fiction. This is Mitch Album's own story where he meets uh, an old teacher. And I've heard that this book is heartbreakingly good. And I am so looking forward to it. And I know that Mitch Album's writing is heartbreakingly good because I've read for one more day and I really, really loved it. And I don't think this is going to be any different and I'm really prepared for it. No, well. I can't say that I'm prepared prepared for it but I'm like even if I were not prepared for it and if this book were to break me I would call it a favorite. I would not actually go and diss on this book because it broke me. I would hug it. I would protect it because it broke me. I Yeah, yeah, that's that's me. Anyway, I just wanted to kick this whole log off and uh, actually start reading this. This has about 200 pages. I don't know if I sit down and read, I think I can finish it today. And uh, I'm going to read for an hour before I uh, have to work for a bit and then I will come back to it. I don't know how much I can read in this one hour, but Fingers crossed, I get to, to at least 50 or 60 pages. Let's see. So I removed all my makeup and uh, it's been half an hour since I stopped reading this. Right now, I'm drinking coffee because I'm so stressed today for some reason because I don't know. There, there are very few days when I think that, oh my God, today I'm going to get so much done and I have the motivation to do that. And today was one such day. And what did they do? Smashed it to pieces. So I'm picking up those pieces and doing whatever I can from whatever I have in my hands. So that's that's what I'm going to do and I think coffee is going to help me. I'm on page 30 of this book. It is very fast. So what I'm now going to do is that I will uh, read. It's 442 right now. Uh, so I will read up to 530 and then I'll go work. So that's the plan. Oh, I burnt my mouth.
I look so stupid. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's just past 5.30 and uh, I have gotten through 54 pages of Tuesdays with Maury and I thought I'd read 54 pages in one hour but I read 54 pages in two hours because I actually had to update my Instagram as well uh, and I did a small reading update where I'm talking about all the books that I am reading so that's why this took time uh, and um, yeah, that's about it this is going good so far but i have one particular uh not i not exactly qualm but i don't agree with a point that the author is putting saying that the way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others devote yourself to your community around you and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning i agree with everything uh i mean except to the fact that you need to devote yourself into someone else so uh, i mean you can give parts of yourself to people around you and to your community but there has to be something that is just for you otherwise you will lose your whole self at least that's how i see it see i'm not a, a lot into spirituality and all of the stuff so and i do not believe that giving unto others giving our whole selves unto others is better than anything else in the whole world i believe in individuality as well but hey to each their own and all that stuff if this were thing if this particular whatever principle he's talking about it works for anybody else then i'm happy for them it just i just don't agree with it so yeah that's where i'm at right now and i'm going to go work for a bit i have a lot of work to be done uh, and then i will come back and read something else so this vlog will take some time to move forward but yeah that's the update for now hey peeps uh, today is the 12th of june actually technically it's 12th of june uh, because it's just crossed 12 in the night so I am starting a fresh day for this whole thing but um, I haven't gotten any further than what I read before. I just read a few pages but other than that I haven't been able to get any reading done and uh, I've been working today the whole day and uh, not really happy with how the day has gone but so that is exactly why I wanted some bit of a reading time because without this I would have gone absolutely mental. I would have lost my mind so I'm going to read for a bit and try to finish the book because it's a very easy to read I don't know if I can finish it in a couple of hours but let's see I know this is going to be a heavy book so I'm let's see how it goes I'm just going to sit here read for a bit yeah exactly There's something that Maury says in this book that is so perfect it feels like to me that it's sort of tugging at my heart and I find it to be so true. Uh, listen to this. Take any emotion, love for a woman or grief for a loved one or what I'm going through, fear and pain from a deadly illness. If you hold back on the emotions, if you don't allow yourself to go all the way through them, you can never get to being detached. You're too busy being afraid. You're afraid of the pain. You're afraid of the grief. You're afraid of the vulnerability that loving entails. But by throwing yourself into these emotions, by allowing yourself to dive in, all the way, over your head even, you experience them fully and completely. You know what pain is, you know what love is, you know what grief is. And only then can you say, alright, I have experienced that emotion, I rec recognize that emotion, now I need to detach from that emotion for a moment. 
that's what he talks about detachment detachment is not about ignoring that a certain emotion is there for example if you're uh, feeling lonely and that's what is there in the next a page as well how we feel lonely sometimes to the point of tears but we don't let those tears come because we are not supposed to cry or how we feel a surge of love for a partner but we don't say anything because we are frozen with the fear of what those words might do to the relationship mori's approach was exactly the opposite turn on the faucet wash yourself with the emotion it won't hurt you it will only help if you let the fear fear inside if you pull it on like a familiar shirt then you can say to yourself all right it's just fear i don't have to let it control me i see it for what it is same for loneliness you let go let the tears flow feel it completely but eventually be able to say all right that was my moment of loneliness moment with loneliness i'm not afraid of feeling lonely but now i'm going to put that loneliness aside and know that there are other emotions in the world and i'm going to experience them as well detach what are you doing mori i've been sitting here um just thinking of about what this book actually did to me I can't find the words to say how much how beautiful I found this book to be. I'm just choking up thinking about it. And uh to read to read uh such a book about an old man who who is dying. He he's dying of a disease and to see him so full of life while not letting go of the feeling that he is losing that life that very life and to see him teach his lessons to uh, see him tell mitch what it what is important to remind him of what is important i don't know it was very moving to me most of what he says makes so much sense uh, it whacks you across the head and it tells you that hey listen you don't be so hard on yourself take some time out forgive yourself love yourself and uh maybe through doing that you will find a sense of community you will find a sense of uh, love with other people and you will find uh, a purpose in life and you will find the meaning to life and i'm like how 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 did you know that it it just it's just knocked me over and uh, i'm it's going to take a while before i can come up with a review for this because right now my mind is whirling and it's just going blank because of how many emotions are bubbling up within me at the very thought of this book i now know what people have been talking about when they say they love tuesdays with mori it's phenomenal people it's phenomenal and thank you for choosing this as a subscriber pick for the month of june after the debacle that was the mistress of spices i really needed a good book and you gave that to me hello people and welcome to the book review section for the subscriber pick for the month of june 2021 which is which was tuesdays with mori by mitch album and i'm going to put it here one second okay yeah is there so tuesdays with mori is a story of uh, mori schwartz who is uh, mitch album's old professor and uh, mitch was very close to mori when he was in uh, school in high school and mori was mitch's own you know favorite teacher favorite teacher ever and mori had this different kind of a uh, different way of looking at things he thought that uh, a person should be able to love and give love to the community and mitch after school after graduating he sort of loses touch with uh his old his favorite professor and he realizes only years later that he has lost touch with him and that he has sort of not kept his promise that he would stay in touch with mori so when he sees on the news mori's story because mori is now uh he has als and he his story is being aired to the world his story of kindness and uh, his different way of living his different way of looking at the world M mitch obviously he now wants to go meet his teacher and he does go meet his teacher and he sees in awe how much 
Mori has the will to live and every Tuesday he goes to meet Mori and they have this last great thesis together so they are writing which is this book Tuesdays with Mori and I I feel at a loss of words right now because I don't know how else to express what uh, Mori Schwartz thinks and how the and the way he looks at the world and at people with so much kindness with so much uh, empathy and sympathy and I am truly truly speechless because the, the way Mori talks about how he is lucky to know what is coming and to accept the reality of a situation when so many other people would give anything to not be in the situation right now and he tells Mitch about what he is uh, grateful for what he uh, thinks he should have done his regrets in life and it's it's something else to see because it's so raw it's so honest and it's so beautiful in its own way because uh, there are a couple of things that I sort of do not agree with in the in the book and with how Mori sees the world but I, I do know that there are a lot of people who would benefit from that and if that is benefiting something something or someone in a good way then it uh, for to them my opinion does not matter if it doesn't apply to me I'm not going to use it but I'm not going to stop anyone else from using it because if it's going to help them or help anybody else the way you get meaning into your life is to devote yourself to loving others devote yourself to your community around you and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning uh, and I must say that devoting yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning I agree with but devoting oneself to loving others and devoting yourself to your community to the community around you it sort of I feel like uh, it is true but only to a certain extent because if you give your whole being into others there's nothing that will be you there's no individuality left there's no you left to do anything for yourself and it's true that humans are made to be creatures of community and uh, we are made to be in crowds we are made to be together and that society has branched out over the years and over the millennia but then again individuality in this time and age is very important and to lose that last essence of oneself and to lose what we want there's that last thread of you know thinking about oneself that is really important and see this came out in 97 it was first published in 97 and the times then were also drastically different than how they are now things have changed so much and how people adjust how people show love and how people show care or is also completely different but I know what Mori is trying to say because he makes so much sense in every single word even if I don't agree with a couple of, uh, of, of his things me personally as an introvert and it doesn't mean that I do not like people I just do not like being in social situations and it's it's just me it's just a part of who I am and see uh, there are a couple of other lessons that Mori gives uh, that that are so perfect it's it feels like because he understands uh, humanity very well and he understands the importance of uh, showing your emotions because he is a man who shows his emotions very well he tells the truth about what he is feeling at any particular point in time and I think we can take something of it from his story and he also talks about how he never wishes to that he were young because he has already been there and look at uh, this particular quote about how this is an inspirational quote it feels like it's very simple as you grow you learn more if you stayed at 22 you'd always be as ignorant as you were at 22 aging is not just decay it's not just your body that's changing etc it's growth it's more than the negative that you're going to die it's the positive that you understand you're going to die and that you live a better life because of it and I'm I kid you not this gave me goosebumps this absolutely gave me goosebumps even as I was reading it now it it just sent chills down my spine because of how perfect it is how true it is and 
it tells us not to concentrate on the negativity it tells us to concentrate on the positivity as well to understand the positivity and to accept it into your life into our lives and i don't think there's a better way of wrapping this book review up i don't think this was a book review in itself it was more of a book gush it feels like mitch albums books are so they are short they are very easy to read i finished this in like uh, less than 24 hours i think 24 hours yeah i it goes to say something how mitch album writes his stories and writes his truths and writes uh, so, so beautifully so simply though and i think that's what makes his books so attractive so um so inspirational as well because he doesn't use flowery language to get his point across simple to the point and beautiful that's what his writing is and that's why i'm a huge fan of mitch album and i'm so glad i read tuesdays with maury i had gone like why didn't i read this before but then again better late than never so what do you think of this video did you like it did you not like it have you read tuesdays with maury what are your thoughts if you read tuesdays with maury did you like the book did you not like the book and if you haven't read it will you pick this book up and will you buy it if you will buy it in if you're looking forward to buying it then please use my amazon affiliate link in the description box below it would be of immense help to me and let me know in the comments what you thought of the video as well as what you thought of the book and if you will pick up the book i would love to hear from you if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video until next time keep reading keep watching and add melodrama to your life